um, there is this wonderful word that has a great meaning, and it's called hypothesis, <laughs> which means that you have an idea, and then it is well accepted, it will be tested, and then you will learn whether it was correct or not, but there will be no pride associated with the hypothesis, because after all, it was a hypothesis. <laughs> right. And then you will reconvene and then create a new hypothesis. Right. Right. But in government like to call and it in law enforcement, at <laughs> right, right, exactly, right. That's how we operate. But in, in government, um, you know, when you have that idea, you better stick with it and defend it at all cost. Well, I know that I read that at the Republican convention, he called me a radical. So I guess that's one difference between us. And yeah, I am a radical. <laughs> I do okay. believe that we need to get radical about what we are doing and right. take it seriously. Right. I talk about reduction of recidivism because it just lost its, its, its true meaning. It became soft on crime. It became, let me tell you a word you've probably never heard that I've heard in many circles. It's a hug-a-thug program. <laughs> Isn't that the most offensive term you've ever heard? It's a hug-a-thug program. Wow. This is the mindset. So, as a lawyer, you know, we all know um, the Constitution of the United States has a Fourth Amendment, and that is um, the, 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 the law that surrounds what is reasonable and unreasonable search and seizure. And so underlying all of the, any analysis about what would, be, what would be a reasonable or unreasonable taking of your stuff by government or anybody else is the concept of what is a reasonable expectation of privacy. So the laws that have been written and are on the books to deal with this issue of privacy are laws that developed primarily, and this gets back to the 20th century versus the 21st century world, right? The laws are still very much grounded in the 20th century and, be, and before. So the laws that came up around privacy were developed around literally the structure of a house. Well, what can you see from the street if you were looking through the window of that house? Versus what you would be able to see or take if you opened the door of that house. Versus what, right? What is your reason, what, versus what you're doing in the front yard of that house. Sure. And so what expectation of privacy do you attach to whatever is placed in that particular place as it relates to that house? Mm -hmm. So, given where we are now, so you're now no longer are you necessarily keeping those private files in some file cabinet that's locked in the basement of the house. It's on your laptop, and it's then therefore up here in this cloud that exists above us, right? Mm -hmm. It's no longer in a physical place. So, you physically take the specs from the customer? Well, no, my, my secretary does that, or the facts. Huh. So then you must physically bring them to the software people? Well, no. Yeah, I mean, sometimes. Uh. 